Hello and welcome and Namaskar Time series and now we are going to start a small series of lectures on method of moving averages till now we were discussing the algebraic method or method of least squares to find out the trend values or estimated values linear trend, non-linear trend, second degree parabola etc etc now this is method of moving averages this is a very simple method a simple arithmetic or simple statistics is involved somewhat interesting somewhat easy but different yes moving the word moving is very important first of all we are going to learn odd period moving average odd period moving average means to consider the odd number of periods 3 5 7 etc and as this is the first case we are going to start with the three yearly moving average that is very easy but to discuss the important points how to find moving average this is very useful we have a time series made up of seven years and respective values first of all to find out the moving averages first the period should be considered at present I am not going to speak anything about the fact how to determine the period we have been asked to find the three yearly moving average for this time series okay so three years or three period we know how to find out the average sigma x upon n these are x values n is three because we need to find out the three yearly averages so total of three years divided by three will be the average but what do we mean by the word moving average moving average means we have to consider consecutive three periods first three years that means year one two three average of these three then average of second third and fourth year again these are three then average of third fourth fifth year these are three so the block of three periods is moving one earlier year or rather first year of the block is dropped and another year is added this is called moving and that's why this method is known as method of moving averages let's do it total of first three yes i have already written the totals that is 1296 Yes, this is the total of 2001, 2 and 3, first, second and third year. This is total. If we divide it by 3, because this is total of 3, so we need to divide it by 3. Sigma x upon n. That will be 432. See, nothing has been written against first year. So, nothing will be written against first year in case of averages also. You can take this as limitation of moving averages in some period in the beginning and at the end there will be no trend value. Now what? Now we need to find the total of three years. They are second year, third year and fourth year. Total of second, third and fourth. Again that will be total of three. We shall divide it by three. And that will be the moving average for the second block of three years. They are second, third and fourth year. Here 2002, 2003 and 2004. For that purpose you can subtract 412 from 1296 and add 454. The students whose mental arithmetic is somewhat good. They can just add or subtract the difference between the outgoing year or value of outgoing year and value of the incoming year. See the difference is 42 and incoming year is greater. So you just can add 42 to this and you will have the new total. But be careful at the time of implementing such ideas, such shortcuts that involves mental maths and there will be no written proof. So that if you are going to make any mistake, you will not be able to get it at the time of making, making mistakes. So, total of these three or this minus 412 plus 
454 or this plus difference of these two. Now I leave it to you how you are going to find the new total. But it is 1338. Again divide it by 3 and it will be 446. Now the next will be total of 3rd, 4th and 5th. You need not to draw this type of brackets every time but for the purpose of your better understanding I am doing this and mind well the total is always written in the middle of the periods 3 means it will be written again the second period or second year every time in every block in this three, this is the middle. In this three, this is the middle. In this three, this is the middle. So now we are dropping 438 and adding 470. The total will be 1370. Or you can simply get the total of these three with the help of your calculator. It is now upon you. Divide this by three again because this is total of three. It will be 456.67. Now next three will be these three. Yes, drop 446 and add 483. Total will be 1407. Divided by 3, it will be 469. And now there are only three values left. So this will be the last total and last moving average. Yes, because after this, we will not be able to get the total of 3. The total comes to 1443. Total of last 3. Divided by 3, it will be 481. Against the last year, nothing will be written. Because it is not possible to have first year and last year in the middle of the block of 3 years. So, in case of moving averages, rather method of moving averages, some few years in the beginning and some few years at the end of the data will not have the totals as well as averages. So, this is a very simple and easy method of moving averages. In this case, we discussed the odd period moving average. Now, in the next, period, uh, next lecture, we are going to discuss about the even period moving average. That is somewhat different. That's it. Thank you very much.